Spend a day in the life with me as a dink who loves the outdoors while I give you some ski hacks that will hopefully help you on your next ski trip. It's 5.15 a.m. Let's get ready to go skiing. But first, we have to shovel the driveway because we got a winter storm last night and it's continuing through today. So we got to shovel the driveway before we can go anywhere. This may be controversial, but I really don't mind shoveling the driveway. It's a great workout and we really only have to do it whenever we're getting up early to go skiing because we both work from home. So first ski hack is moisturizer and sunscreen on your face and neck always. Your face will get so dried out during the winter, especially with all that wind hitting your face, so put that sunscreen and moisturizer on. My next ski hack is to put all of your gear into a plastic bin in your trunk. It keeps everything together in a moment for my husband's chaotic shoe choice. He's wearing Crocs and we got five inches of snow. But anyways, the bin will help you keep everything together and that way you're not searching under all the seats trying to find a missing glove. Okay, the next ski hack is to figure out the best place to park. It may not be where you think. It may not be that first parking lot that opens up because we've figured out the hack for our ski resort, our home mountain that we go to, where we can park right by the lifts we take the lift up immediately and then we ski a trail back to our car at the end of the day and it saves us so much time and headache of trying to get on the buses and ride it somewhere and all of that next ski hack is to always make sure you have a face mask with you even if it's not that cold who knows sometimes the weather can do whatever it wants and you should always have a face mask with you just in case you want to have it or keep it in your car at least that way if it does get cold protect your face i honestly wear one even when it's not that cold because my face will get wind burnt and it just hurts sometimes with the cold weather on your face the next hack is a money and time saving one. We typically pack a lunch in our bag and a little special drinky drink in our backpack and take it with us. But today we actually stopped, had a little opera ski moment. And we did this because it was so busy at the resort and we had an early lunch, which brings me to my next hack is to ski during lunch. While everybody's going inside to have their little opera ski break, have their little lunch, you go out and you ski because it's not going to be as busy. You're going to have the trails mostly to yourself. See, this is what I meant earlier. We skied right back up to our car, just had to take off our skis and our gear and we were on our way. That's all the ski hacks I have for today. Thanks for coming along with me. Let me know if you want more ski hacks. I'll be happy to share.